Welcome to episode 8 of Discovering Nagasaki from a Local. My name is Chad and this is where you can experience everyday life in Japan as an armchair video tourist. As you can see I had my ears lowered since episode 7. First of all I'd like to thank all the people who continue to view my vlogs. So far only one person was able to answer last week's questions correctly. Peter Glant. The first question was what was leaning up against the front of my tractor when I showed you the back of our garden? The answer is a blue wheelbarrow. The second question was, how many tatami mats were in the rooms that I showed you of Yamamoto-san's former residence? The answer is 22, two rooms with four and three rooms with six. It was difficult to count all of them, but Peter managed to see at least 18. Typhoon number 9 came close to Nagasaki last Wednesday, but it did very little damage here. However, Typhoon number 10 will be soon passing over Nagasaki on Sunday, August 6th. The storm currently has wind gusts in excess of 240 kilometers per hour. That's an extremely powerful typhoon. I will start a crash course in basic Japanese kanji today. In this and each subsequent episode, I will spend 60 seconds or less introducing new kanji radicals that are related to each other. I will start with eight kanji radicals that sit on the left side of more complex kanji. Today's list includes ice, water, feeling, bed, human, seedling, rice, fortress. For the time being, it is only important to visually associate each radical with its meaning. In today's vlog, I will show you how we make some homemade soup and a side dish of miso flavored eggplant and peppers for our bakery cafe. I will also take you on a short tour of a Buddhist temple here in Omura called Myohoji Temple or Busharito. Let's get started. To make this homemade soup, I will put dried kombu or kelp, dried iriko, small dried fish, and dried shiitake mushrooms into a plastic container and let them soak overnight in water. After letting the broth sit overnight in a covered container, I will now put the broth in the large pot and turn on the stove. Now that the broth mixture has boiled for five minutes on the stove, I'll use a sieve to remove the broth. I will eventually add five more volumes of water to the pot after I add some vegetables. Just before the soup is served at the cafe, I will add chopped okra and boiled harusame to this soup. Now I'll transfer the broth back into the large pot. And then I'll add some chopped carrots. And chopped onions from our garden along with uh, separated shimeji mushrooms from the market. I sliced up the shiitake mushrooms from the broth and now I'll add them to the soup. To make the miso flavored eggplant and pepper side dish, I've added some sesame oil to this fry pan and turned on the heat. I will now add these large chunks of eggplant from the garden to the fry pan. As these eggplants heat up, they will get softer and release water so they shouldn't burn on a low heat setting. That's a lot of eggplants. I've already moved some of the liquid broth from the frying eggplants and put it into a bowl. To this bowl I will add three tablespoons of mirin.
and six tablespoons of miso. Next I'll transfer this mixture back to the larger bowl. This smaller bowl is my wife's favorite bowl. Notice the cat on it. Then I'll add one packet of this fish dashi. And just as soon as I can wash and wipe off this spoon, I will add three tablespoons of brown sugar. Ichi. E. San. Azeru piki desu. Japanese for I have to stir up the mixture. I'll add this mixture to the fry pan next and then stir it up. I've already heated up the fry pan and next I'll add the peppers. They only need to be heated for a couple of minutes. Now the soup and side dish for today's cafe are all but finished. This is the inside of our bakery cafe in Amora. We serve a hot meal here every Thursday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. We also use our classroom for our cafe guests. And here's today's lunch set. Soup, our miso side dish, rice, salad, bread, coffee, dessert, and pickles. This is a rather interesting Buddhist temple near my farm that provides a great view of Omura. It's called Myohoji Temple or Busharito. It was built by Japan's Nichiren Buddhist sect. It's quite visible from many places in Amora, but very few local people have actually visited this place. This statue on the side of Myohoji Temple has a Buddhist chant engraved on it. Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. Amora is over here in the distance. And behind me, you can see a side view of the temple. This is a view from the top of the temple stairs. As I pan to the right, you can see some nearby buildings and Omoro Bay in the distance. This is one of the four Buddhist statues at this temple. Although the construction of this temple was a major undertaking, I can't find any information concerning the dimensions or the construction date for this site. If anyone knows this information, please leave a comment below. This particular temple is on a mountain in Miura, a short drive from Omura. From this vantage point you can see most of Omura. including Nagasaki's National Hospital, the Anna grocery store that's about three blocks from our school and cafe, Omura's boat race facility, and Nagasaki Airport on the far left. The second Buddha statue is just over here. Planes use this temple as a landmark when they're approaching Nagasaki Airport to land. Today is September the 3rd and it's the day after Typhoon 9 blew past the western coast of Kyushu. The weather is beautiful today and so is the view. The third Buddha statue is up here. There are several nearby farms like this one near the temple. I'm going to give you a 360 degree tour of this temple. So I'll continue around. 
this way. And here is the fourth Buddha statue at this temple. Behind me is another view of the Miura Peninsula on the left and Omura Bay on the right. Today is really the calm before the storm because Typhoon number 10 is headed directly for Kagoshima and Nagasaki and it will be here this Sunday. And now for today's challenging questions. First, how many white chairs were there in our bakery cafe? Second, how many Buddha statues in Miyohoji Temple were in the seated position? Please continue to support my vlog channel by giving this vlog a thumbs up and by leaving a comment, a question, and or a suggestion below. Tell me what you find interesting about my vlogs and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this vlog. See you next week.